A warning for parents tonight. This week we followed two separate incidents of school employees who were involved in sexual misconduct cases involving students. To news reporter City Jacksheimer outlines ways parents can protect their children, especially while they're on the internet or using social media. Every day there are 500,000 online predators, according to the Child Crime Prevention and Safety Center. This startling statistic is why the Safe Surfing Foundation was formed. To teach kids and parents about how to surf safely on the internet. In the matter of a week here locally, a teacher aide at Andrew Lewis Middle School was arrested for taking indecent liberties with a child. And a William Fleming High School counselor and coach pleaded guilty to the same crime. Do you think we're seeing more of these cases or are they just getting reported more often? What are, what are you guys saying? Both. And they're not being reported enough. We know that. So that's why it's very important that we get the educational programs into the schools so the kids will know, number one, how to identify they're being approached, whether it's by um, a teacher or online. But once they identify, hey, something's not right here, they need to know what to do about it. There are simple ways you can protect your children. As far as parents, be a parent. Take a look at their phones, their iPads, what they're doing. Check their Snapchat, who they're talking to. Some kids still use Facebook, believe it or not. Check all of their social media to see who they're talking to. And warning signs to be on the lookout for. Watch the kids' behavior. Their behavior will change. Reporting, I'm Sydney Jacks Timer, 10 News, working for you.